Caribbean music, news, right entertainment, on, drama, right creative on, Caribbean on, video, and happening cultural events. Only on WICE Q95 TV. I just love Q95. Q95. You're watching WICE Q95 TV. Stay tuned for Caribbean music, news, right entertainment, on, drama, right creative Caribbean video, and happening cultural events. Only on WICE Q95 TV. I just love Q95. It is the age of technology and they keep doing the wrong things. And let them continue to do the wrong things because we know all what they are doing and we have them we we have them well locked down well locked down we are paying attention to every detail very much so very much so and the, the, the details are right there tight 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 people of dominica and uh, those who are also listening it is very very sensitive i mean the 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 family you know what i'm asking myself Kalai? why would somebody want to offer as much as five hundred thousand dollars um 50 to be paid immediately to stop you know investigations from moving forward i i i, I don't know why is this so important because they're, they're attempting to pervert the cause of justice because people will go down matt people will go down People will go down. It's a fact. It's right now. Uh, the, 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 where it is at the people will go down. And, 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 you know, I mean, what has been done to this child? We, we as citizens of the, of Dominica, we, we have to frown on it. You don't do that to someone. And, and, and being in, in, in such a position, I mean, you, you know, top position, government minister, and, and 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 top business official on the island i mean what what are you doing what are you doing in and, and, and now offering cash and those who are involved in in in, in the negotiations we're watching you we are watching you closely we were, we, are, we are well aware of what's going on yeah and whenever you call we know when you call we know when you call we have the, the time is that you called yesterday. So we're just alerting you. Those who are calling, we're just alerting you. We're watching you. We have you covered. So just just know that we have you covered. Is all I'm saying. And let's continue to pray, people. Let's pray hard. So we will see justice being done. 819 is the morning time. On top of the story here. 819, as I said keep watching and I'm hoping that those responsible the authorities as always speak out on these matters will speak out as we move along hello talk to me hello? yes hello he who has no sins cast the first stone oh so you're going over you have, you're going after Carlisle at this time he's trying to get personal 919 or 819 Four four nine three zero nine five four four nine. Just what you should do at this time is to condemn what is going on. Hello, talk to me. Yes. What's that? What are you talking about, sir? Oh, maybe you've not been following. Stay close. Hello. Good morning. Morning. You have the clip of Nasio Fountain. Nasio, I think we have it somewhere. Yes. Put it up for me, please. All right, I'll go back to that. Hello, talk to me. Yeah, good morning, Matt. Good morning to you. Just to say, I just want to send some greetings to a couple of doctors in Dominica, Dr. Copel. Oh, what go on, Obama? I from his friend in New York and Dr. Royce Linton, taxi driver. I want to wish them all the best. And Dr. Blessing, all the best to them today. I hope they have a good day today. All right, thank you very much. Hello? Hello? Are you there, caller? Hello, 
good morning, Matt. How are you doing? I'm doing fine this morning. Matt, what good for the goose is good for the gander. It's good for a proper person, but it's good for the rich man. Everybody has to pay for their sins. Good morning. Good morning to you. Hello. Yes, Matt. Mm-hmm. Jim, brother. Well, what you don't want to be heard on the radio? A massive tree. Have it. Now, I'm just telling you, and I've just been advised that this blogger, whoever, whatever website that is, they've just taken down the names, so it's no longer there. You're just curious, but these people can be in serious um, problems, okay? I, I know you want to hear, but they've just taken it down. You have to be very, very careful. Hello, talk to me. I say praises, thanks, blessings, and glory to all those with humanity. Dr. My, Pelte. My Dr. brother, how are you doing? Dr. Pelte, blessings <laughs> on your family, sir. Oh, boy, blessings. Uh, when, when, when I uh, get the doctorate, it will be well achieved. <laughs> Dr. Carlyle, blessings to you and your family and the listening public. We all are doctors, Matt. Doctors, <laughs> doctors, doctors. Wow. You there with me, my brother? I'm following. Okay, blessed day to you again. Matt, um... I, it is frightening, but I saw it coming years and years ago, Matt. I saw it coming because, Matt, I have said something, you know, Matt. Woes to them and those who chose to use the power of influence and misdirected power and carve out of this blessed land the bed of selfishness and greed and sow the seeds of corruption, Matt. You hear me, Matt? Yep. Know that the foreign weeds have encroached. It will, it will not only be individual extinction or destruction. It will be collective extermination, Matt. Because the politicians become corrupt. The police, the priests, the pastors, everybody coming corrupt. So guess what? Injustice, when it is done by poor people or, let's say, a criminal activity. Let me, let me just try to rephrase that. A criminal activity is done to somebody, Matt. We go to the length and breadth to try to bring them to justice, Matt. Particularly poor people, no bodies. And I'm hearing that half a million dollars is walking, Matt. They say money talk and BS walk, Matt. You there with me, sir? I'm here, I'm here. As much as a half a million dollars, we can no, tell Matt, you, may, may have been offered. Matt, so let me say something. I have said that the little ghetto people who are there, trying to walk the straight and narrow, the little secretary, the little teller, the little security guard, the police officer, you know, the, the teacher, everybody figuring out, and Matt, they're not, you know, calculating the action, so to speak, you know, to say, oh, all you're doing it, it is something that is infesting them. The corruption, it's like the flu, it is contagious, Matt. So you sneezes, and guess what, somebody else comes down with the call. And that is the level of madness, and I want you and Carlisle and the orders that is investigating to be very, very, very careful because these are dangerous, dangerous people. If Gonya and Greta Emanuel could not get away from the wrath of the powers that be, and I know who they are, Matt. I have nothing to say, but I will tell you, these politicians and these business people, these money people, these lawyers in high places, Matt, Matt, they will start to hire hitman like the fella that was coming from Barbados, coming down with his guns and his ammunition. And you had Charles Favre and all of them say so he was coming down for his daughter. His daughter is like a wild animal under the bush and he was coming to... But, but, let, let, me inf let me inform you. Let me inform you, blessings. I may know a lot. Kalal John Baptist may know a lot. But there are a lot of other people who knows a lot or who know a lot and will not speak on the radio like Matt and Kalil, but the information is not buried in one head, my brother. Let me just inform you, so you may have to kill a lot of people at this time. Now do worry, Matt. No weapon from against you all shall prosper. Be more than a conqueror, Matt, and don't worry them. Matt, they have to go down, and they're seeing. They're seeing the end is near, Matt. So in their desperation, they will do anything for them to stay afloat. But it is just a matter of time. Have a blessed day, my brother. Have a blessed day too. 825. Hello. Is a member of the opposition involved as well? 
Um, um, from the information that we have, and we, of course, we did mention that uh, a member of the opposition was implicated, but uh, the latest information indicate that they're no longer interested in that. The the officers in charge. Are you there? I'm sorry. Okay, thank you very much. Hello, talk to me. Hello, four four nine three zero nine five. Yes, Matt. If it was my son, they would come in the middle of the night that I want to know how much balls the police and them have on that case. What about the women's groups, the women's associations? Are they? Will they? Say anything? The Minister of Social Affairs? Will she speak out? Guess we'll have to wait and see as this case progresses. Hello, talk to me. How are you doing, my brother? I'm fine, Mark. I knew you from the beginning. Is the child is underage, Mark? Yes. Okay, but Mark, what I have to do, I have to say there, I mean, them thing is becoming a habit in the country. And somebody needs to put a stop to them things, there, Mark. And too many times, they offer the parents and the money to bribe. And we as the parents should not be accepting them things, there, Mark. Well, you have, to you have to encourage the family and members, the mother, yes. etc., not to accept. But, Matt, it can be opposition, it can be those in government. I, I have a daughter, Matt, and let me tell you something. The NIC, no board, 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 who do that to, to my daughter, Matt. They are balls in my own, you know, Matt. They are balls will be my own. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I can well understand how you feel, my friend. 827. Listen to Q95 everywhere in Dominica on these frequencies. 95.1 FM, Brozo and Southwest. 95.7 FM, Casabrust and the East. 95.7 FM, Grand Bay and the South. 97.5 FM, Maragot and the Northeast. 105.7 FM, Portsmouth and the North. 105.7 FM, Lapline and the East. We are also on Digital Play Channel 110 and the Channel 904. At Marpin 2K4 Channel 97, our global website link is www.q95da.com. Link up our YSQFM live audio stream online via TuneIn Radio. Like our exciting program pages on Facebook.com forward slash Q95FM Radio. Follow us on Twitter.com forward slash Q95FM Radio. Check Q95FM Radio videos and photos on Instagram. Listen to our podcasts at Q95FMRadio.podbean.com and link us on YouTube at YouTube.com forward slash user forward slash Q95FM Radio. Keep it locked to Q95, the big station. Get the fastest home internet on island from Digital Play with speeds three times faster than the competitor plus over 60% savings. Pay only $89 monthly for 8 megabytes internet with Digital Play. Sign up with a sales representative in your community or call 616-1600 or 616-1700. Experience the fastest home internet with Digital Play. Digital terms and conditions. Conditions apply. Seven six seven. Dominica, get ready for Caribbean Cup football action. Dominica versus Martinique, Tuesday, March 29th, at the Windsor Park Stadium. Book that day. I'm in Dominica. All right, let's go back uh, to the telephone at this time. 4493095, and 4493097. Coming back. www.q95da.com. It's our brand new dynamic Q family website. Log in, interact, have fun on the pages of your favorite shows. Rise and Shine, The Hot Seat, Easy Rock 951, Nature Isle Cruise, Youth on Q, Knockout 95, Politics, Weekly Headlines, Island Rhythms, Soul to Soul Gospel, Creole Asser Q, The Big Link Up, Q Exposure, Power Drive 951, Q Classic Gold Flashbacks, Sports Rap, 
the quiet side of Q. Interact live with your show hosts and Q family listeners worldwide in real time. Make your comments, give your feedback, tell the world what's on your mind in the comments box at the bottom of the pages at Q95DA.com. You interact and connect instantly with friends and Q family members on the hottest social networks, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, LinkedIn, Messenger, Gmail, Google+. Make your comments in the box at the bottom of each news story on the news page by clicking on the headline of the news story. Log in to Q95DA.com. You'll just love to surf every unique page on our brand new dynamic interactive Q Family website. Browse through our interesting pages in your Q Family photo gallery. Listen to live audio. Watch intriguing videos on QTV on our homepage and in our video gallery. Q95 has long gone global. Place your web banners and video ads where the world is watching and listening on the big station q95da.com all right let's go back to the telephone are you there caller um the female ministers and them in the house they will never talk because they're waiting for when jesus christ come in today well um let's give them the benefit of the doubt let's see this case unfold and let's see if they will talk okay for now give them the benefit of the doubt hello good morning mark yes uh i, I don't take up much of your time but i want somebody now that will get the scriptures james 5 verses 1 2 and 3 and you'll explain the whole thing that is james 5 the book of james 5 verses 1 2 and 3 thank you very much my friend all right thank you very much 832 hello Play the clip of Matthew Fontaine for me, please. Yes, yes, we're actually looking for it at this time. It doesn't just come up like that. We have to go look for it, okay? Thank you, Thank you very much. Hello. Matt? Yes. Mola. A crisis. Ukakute. All right, hello, talk to me. Hey, Matt Morning. Hey, my brother, how are you doing, man? Hey, I'm good. I'm just there. I'm in in sadness in pain yeah because um we have heard of these things before and um when you put it in perspective when you have like i've always said with this rape and issue with our young girls young children when you have the people in the hierarchy of the government system or maybe sometimes they're just well connected we never hear about it again it dies slow death haven't we heard before about um a businessman in um, a situation like that where even a lawyer you have that clipping where a lawyer mentioning that the businessman went after a little girl and they coming after him you have a recording of that mm -hmm. a lawyer calling a businessman a rapist or whatever it was and it never went anywhere haven't we heard of a minister who made a report um, who made some advances on a girl the girl went to the cid department and then something was was done inside there for the girl to come and get some hush money right there organized right inside there from a cid point of view we have heard about that even in even lately we have heard about i don't know if you heard that about a minister who was actually in some sexual something with a young girl and he was tied i don't know they tie him to have the session and the girl took his wallet the, po the police got involved to give him back his wallet which was that was something illegal because if you were paying for sex and the girl happened to tie you up some way somehow thinking you're gonna get something and then she took your wallet and go the police got involved they ask you to give back a wallet now if there's a man who maybe steal drugs do they go to the police and tell the police a man steal my drugs no they wouldn't do that because it's something illegal now selling sex is illegal and the girl took the wallet and the police got involved to give the, the minister back his wallet we end up all these things and once you hear his minister or somebody connected to these people it's a whole corrupt system and some way somehow we hearing about it, we're talking about it, and nothing has been done. And I think... Well, well, but this time, this time, I must say, though, the, the people who are investigating, the people who have gotten involved, even the young girl who seemed very brave is speaking out, you know, and the, the families seem resolute that they're going to be, you know, fighting this one, because from what I gather, the mother seemed very, very hurt. Okay, she's very hurt, and they are not going. They, 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 they're so determined that they, they are not going to take hush money, no matter how much it is. Yes. Okay, niceness. Thank you very much. Hello, talk to me. My brother, are you speaking? Or are you not speaking? You, you hear whispering to me. I, I don't need a whisper. I need you to talk 
to me at this time. You have something on your mind. Hello, talk to me. Uh, bless and peaceful day to you and all the listeners. Yes. Um, Honorable Lennox Linton, a special good morning to you. How is this case going on with the officers and Mr. Linton and Mr. Matt? Well, I think it's on, uh, it has been postponed uh, to some other date. God works in a mysterious way. How glaring it is. Let them proceed with it. Let, let us see how fight is going. I mm. always say that we, we are too double standard. And you see that hypocrisy thing there? That's what I cannot do. When, when is the poor man's child, they go with everything. But uh, we're hearing of some hesitation. Hello, talk to me. Yeah, Matt, um, I pray that even um, there be some, uh, like a witness protection thing, Matt, for, mm -hmm. him, for that young girl, her parents, and everybody. The police must not take that one lightly. If those who are investigating uh, are being that serious, Matt, I think that child and whoever is involved should be, you know, protected. Because, Matt, I'm concerned. Not scared. If it is me, I'm really not afraid. But... I am really concerned. And Matt, can you and Carlisle update us? I heard it on the news this morning, having to do with the tuition of um, students at the University of the West Indies, Matt? Yes, we'll try to get some, some information to see if anything okay. has happened, okay? God bless. God bless. God bless you too. Hello. Good morning, Matt. Good morning to you, sir. Well, Matt, um, this is just indicative of um, any administration who is there for too long. These are the kind of things that happen, Matt. Good morning. Good morning to you. 8.37 is the morning jam. We continue. Of course, trying to get updates for you as we speak along and being very, very careful about it. Um, as you know, the police and the other authorities continue to investigate uh, this one here. Sex scandal involving a 15-year-old child. It was uh, Nasio Fountain spoke about this. A few months ago. My sister, the message is clear, you know. The message is crystal clear. A big man cannot see a little girl, a little child, a little baby at that age to think of molest that child. You know, this is impossible, Rasta. You know, we, I, I, sometimes I look at it and I tell my wife, is it really true what the news said? An eight-year-old and a 40-something-year-old and the child is raped and, and, and say, this is Dominica Bridgen. We need to solve our problems. These are problems. This is food. This is mental. This is psychological. We need to solve our problems. Because when you see our men start molesting little children, then our jail is going to get filled up. Then the government won't be able to come up with enough money to supply the prisoner with and all that stuff. It's a psychological problem. This cannot keep on going. We need to stop it. We need to just stop it. Call on every Dominican man right now. If you have plans to molest any little child, or anybody should, be, I'm talking to politicians also, because you guys molesting people too. And I have to say that to the politicians who go out there and dead little girls 16 and 15 are gonna stop. Stop it too. Don't come on the TV and deny it. Stop it also. They can't shoot me, no, right. but they wouldn't die. Yeah. www.q95da.com It's our brand new dynamic Q family website. Log in, interact, have fun on the pages of your favorite shows. Rise and Shine, The Hot Seat, Easy Rock 951, Nature Isle Cruise, Youth on Q, Knockout 95, Politics, Weekly Headlines, Island Rhythms, Soul to Soul Gospel, Creole Asser Q, The Big Link Up, Q Exposure, Power Drive 951, Q Classic Gold Flashbacks, Sports Wrap, The Quiet Side of Q. Interact live with your show hosts and Q family listeners worldwide in real time. Make your comments. Give your feedback. Tell the world what's on your mind. Hello, talk to me on the telephone. Hey, Matt, pleasant morning to you. Pleasant morning to all listeners to Q95. Yes. Matt, I, I saw a news um, bulletin yesterday where um, the, the case versus um, Crazy T and um, the... No, as, as a matter of fact, as I said to you, 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 we wouldn't be allowing you to call anybody's name on this program okay so whatever website you were reading that's what i'm telling you about the dangers of what people put out there okay 
we've not been given any names you're not allowed to call anybody's name on this radio station i want to apologize on your behalf sir we're gonna come right back q95da.com streaming crystal clear audio and video in total liquid stereo don't miss out More names you put out there. The quicker it is that the this case will go down the drain. We spoke to you about it. Hello, talk to me. Morning, Mr. Mac. Yes, uh huh. And how are you? Good. Well, Mr. Mac, I want to condemn that act because if we look at our island now, we have so many people that lose their brains in on the road, and look at. If such is the case, you are in high position, and to tell me that is your performance, I only hope now, when you get everything in place, deal with that one that do that act to teach another one, those that have the intention, a lesson, because you cannot tell me when you have to watch a child, and to that is your policy, you should respect that child, cherish that child, because sometimes that child tomorrow can come and assist you. But when you affect one, as they say, one crime is too much, when you affect one, you affect all, because all the time, when they watch that child, they'll always remember what they do to that child, so that, that shame will wait, live with among that child, Till that child depart from that world. So I'm calling those, I said it already, condemn that act, and those when and they get all the information, deal with the person for what he do that was wrong. That is my contribution this morning. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Some people want to listen to Nasir Fontaine again when he spoke at a news conference at the Gara Hotel months ago. My sister, the message is clear, you know. The message is crystal clear. A big man cannot see a little girl, a little child, a little baby at that age to think of molest that child. You know, this is impossible, Rasta. You know, we, I, 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 sometimes I look at it and I tell my wife, is it really true what the news said? Eight year old and a 40 something year old and the child is raped and, 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 and say, this is Dominica Bridgen. We need to solve our problems. These are problems. This is food. This is mental. This is psychological. We need to solve our problems. Because when you see our men start molesting little children, then our jails going to get filled up. Then the government won't be able to come up with enough money to supply the prisoner with and all that stuff. It's a psychological problem. This cannot keep on going. We need to stop it. We need to just stop it. Call on every Dominican man right now. If you have plans to molest any little child, or anybody should be, I'm talking to politicians also, because you guys molesting people too. <laughs> and I have to say that to the politicians who go out there and date little girls 16 and 15 are gonna stop. Stop it too. Don't come on the TV and deny it. Stop it also. They can't shoot me, you know, right. but they wouldn't die. All right, let's take another phone call. Hello. Hi, Matt. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. Good morning. Friends. Good morning. Yes. Yes, Matt. Um, this uh, situation in Dominica with this young young victim is very bothering. It's very, it's very troublesome. I did not sleep last night properly because I kept thinking of Dominica. What kind of system are we creating? Forget about the perpetrators for now. Let's talk about the victim. How do you, how does a young 14 year old get involved with, in that kind of scandal with these grown men, not just one, but more than one? How does a young, a young victim, what kind of, what kind of system are we creating? 
Are we creating a, an environment where perpetrators breed because we have so many young victims who don't understand the value of their bodies, they don't understand the self-worth? Is that the kind of system that Dominica has right now? I grew up in Dominica, Matt, and I had parents. My mother is still alive, thank God. And just last that I was speaking to a friend, and we were talking about growing up and our parents providing for us, no matter how hard they had to work. We have a system now where people are unemployed, fathers have to leave mothers to go overseas to take, to, 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 to take care of them, mothers are unemployed, people are giving their children away for money, for material things. It's not yesterday, you know. I read that in a report, Matt. It bothers me. It bothers me to know that we have a system where young people cannot feel like they can just leave. You know, predators, they're all there with their money and their power. Let me tell you something, Matt. This corruption has started from the head. From the head. And it is trickling down to the poor and average man, Matt. And our children are the ones. That our children are the ones who are suffering the consequences of such a system. I remember Francis Joseph. Joseph. Recently he was on you. He was on. He was on your show at some point, and he was talking about the same epidemic that is creeping in, creeping in the system in Dominica, a, a system where you know a, a level of dependency has been bred in the system so much that our young children, our young women, and our young men also are being taken advantage of. Everybody wants something. Everybody expects to get something from somebody. And that is the biggest problem. They're, they're victims. What kind of programs are there in Dominica to protect these victims? How many times are we going to call the radio, man? How many times are we going to call the radio and cry about our young children just being exploited and taken advantage of by these men, Matt? How many times, Matt? It is too much. Let the public call the names. I won't call. I know, I know, I know the law. I won't call it on the radio, but if the public knows, let them call their name, let them shame them. We are the laws. Why can't these guys enact laws? How many times have we been crying for laws? We've done petitions for laws, for, for new laws, Matt. Amendments to the law. All kinds of new laws can be passed. So they want to change the election laws so they can say they to create more corruption in the country, Matt. Enough is enough. When are, when are Dominicans going to stand up? Stand up and walk and, and, and do something to change that system, to protect our children, Matt. Enough is enough. This is, this is painful, Matt. This is, this is sickening. $500,000? What about that child's future? Does she even have a future? What are, the, what, are, what, what are these cars? The eternal cars she will have for the rest of her life. Is she ever going to some full grown woman that can make she uh, that, that, that can actualize have a career have have a family and be normal will she ever be normal Matt? what programs are there in place to give that child the kind of counseling that she needs where are the advocacy groups in dominica this has to stop this has to stop this cannot continue and Kai, i know you're talking about the lord and and all copper ways it's not copper ways enough let them shame them, shame them in the public. Let them come after the whole of Dominica for calling their names, call their names. And no, I, I tell you what, I know the emotions here at this time, ma'am, but the laws does not allow you to call their names. At this time, you can only call these people's names after they're found guilty, okay? You can only call their names after they're found guilty. Hello, talk to me. Good morning, morning yes. Matt, you know, it is interesting, you know, when you hear these kind of things, and, you know, at the end of the day, when we hear people, persons who are implicated in such situations, we, we tend to wonder what is going on, because, you know, at the end of the day, when some of them we are parliamentarians, and they are the ones who enact laws, they go there, they defeat laws, they, 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 they empower these necessary institutions to act on behalf of criminal, and to act on criminal matters. And to hear this scandal, you know, sometimes parliamentarians from themselves in, if that is the case, it, it's sad. And at the end of the day, remember to, um, um, well, you know, has to power under the law to prosecute those or to at least, you know, um, put a case forward against those who actually, you know, um, defy the law. So 
at the end of the day, you know, I hope that one doesn't escape and they go full fledged because you, you win. But, but, but you heard the amount of money being offered, eh? Well, well, you see, you see, money is, at the end of the day, these things will come because they're backing in. But if the person who is in problem, they always want to not be, you know, driven to the court and they will back in. But at the end of the day, if law is law and, and a criminal act is the thing, when you take it to the court, let the court act and, you know, let, let it happen. Do not, and I urge people, these families, please, you will be enticed, you will be driven, you will be, you will be attracted to that kind of package. But at the end of the day, are you going to sacrifice morality? No. Please, run them out. Tell them no. That is in the hands of the police. And the police, take care you get called from the bigger boys. The politicians cannot direct you. You have your work to do. You have a case before you. Take it to the court. Let the court find out. Let the court get the evidence and let the court prosecute whoever. You do not, do not allow yourself to be driven down. Because at the end of the day, we will come back asking for people to go and match for people who abuse young children. And then when it the don't turn out, you're going to say it was a portion out. You know why it is a portion out? Because you all are not acting. It seems to me in Dominica, we don't believe in results. We need now to put these things to us. Once and for all, a stop to these things. And when one man, a top man, a man in authority, whether it's he who is indicated, when the court makes the decision and he, he, he falls in it, my friend, we must get some remedial for the problem. So let me tell you, Matt, you are doing a good job, and I urge you for truth to not let people call anybody's name so that we put a word in the whole thing. And at the end of the day, let Dominican voice their opinions op openly. We have to put a stop to that. Great job, Mr. Thank you very much. I'm just asking myself this question. When? Just when is Nastia Fountain said in song? When will our children be allowed to come out and play and feel safe, huh? Big question and ask you a big question. Thinking of the children who are the victims of oppression, eaten down by worse and eaten up by starvation. I'm saying, when we there is ugly world be over, and the children can go out and play. Let's take another phone call here. Talk to me. What passport money can do? You haven't seen nothing yet. Is passport money to doing that? I wasn't aware of that. Hello, talk to me. Hi, Matt. Good morning. How are you? How are you doing, ma'am? I'm doing great and good for life. Matt, I listened to that news and talk all over the place from yesterday morning or whenever is going on. But Matt, one thing we feel to realize that the um, good book, which is the Bible, is words are ye and and amen and that's what he said, that when a leader has no vision, his people perish. And much which is true, because, I mean, look look at how we come. Look at the state of the economy. Look at the state of the country. Look at the amount of people that are losing their jobs. You understand? Look at the amount of job out we have from high school, Matt. Sometimes these children drop out from school because their parents have no money to feed them or, or to buy their supplies or whatever. And then they're just all over the place roaming. I'm not saying that is the case of the young girl but Matt you know that is what happening and therefore what what we're going to find now that these things may be happening to need much because you don't have and these other people finding well they have to offer you so you have to give up something for something and that is what's going to happen Matt, because we have no jobs we have no money we have them to provide for our children and when a leader have no vision the people perish so we now have to stand up and to break that curse in our country and to get this government out so that we can come back to a rightful place or rightful self in this country Matt. thank you thank you somebody says man i'm very proud of the family for not accepting the monies i wish them support and strength justice will prevail all children are off limits somebody says here in a whatsapp and it's time we take a stand i suggest 
a motorcade for justice. Hello. Hey, Matt Morgan again. Yes, sir. Matt, I want to call on Daniel Carbon this morning. And why I want to call on Daniel Carbon is because um, in the past, we have heard of Daniel Carbon receiving calls from um, um, government ministers and people to direct his case and where he, what, where he should arrest and where he shouldn't arrest. In that case, he must show that he's in control of his force. A crime was committed, something happened, the, it should be in the hands of the police and not no minister and not no hierarchy and not no prime minister. He is the one making, should be making decision, decision there. Don't stay home and take calls from any, any, any politician on this one. Let us make an example. Like Mr. Maglo said, an old man there, this old man, I really admire this old man because we have a saying, I'm Eddie Cassie, I'll say Palais Pui, and he put something in perspective there. Make, you need to make an example of one of these people. You cannot have these people at the top going scotch-free. When ordinary people do, do di little crimes, corned beef and sardine and these things, they go to the court and they, go, they get convicted. Why we have these situations where you have rapists from in, in high authority doing these things to our young children and they get they going away scotch-free? Because of what? You're hearing $500,000 already offer. Where is this money coming from that this man can do that? From the same people you're taking the money, you cannot give them what they need in their communities and you come in now and throw it in their face when you do their crime to make you go scotch free these are the things that we need to gather against matt and have a good morning somebody's asking me matt good morning what is the dominica council of women saying good question i'm hoping that someday soon we will hear from the dominica council of women hello hey matt is there again yes sir yeah but one thing that happened matt and those big men when did they get hard, Matt? Why didn't they find a Spanish and go and pay some cash? Uh-oh. <laughs> That's your suggestion to them? All right. Well, I hope they're listening. Hello, talk to me. Hello, good morning. Yes. Mr. Matt. I'm here, sir. How are you? Okay. All right. Let me give my opinion about that kind of incident that happened in Dominica. <laughs> the Bible says, I'm going on a Bible perspective. The Bible says that the... Who that corrupt fishing shall not prosper, but whoso confesses and forsaketh shall receive forgiveness. Now, again, these kind of things are going on here. We don't know who is committing those acts, but whoever no, whoever is involved in it, let me tell you something. The word of God declares that be sure your sin will find you out, and whatever happens in the dark, it must appear in the light. And whoever is involved in it, don't worry, we cannot hide. We can run, but we cannot hide, and I will soon find out how. Guide us and protect the people that are accused, not those that are accused, those who are involved in it, and even the child that have been offended by this act of immorality. I want to encourage the mother to get out and speak the truth, and it's the truth that will make them free. Well, from what I want to gather, the mother has already made a statement, and she seemed determined to move forward with this one. Let me encourage Dominica to pray for the family and that child involved. Because you know the machinations that is now taking place to try to prevent this one from moving forward. It's 8.58 in the morning, Dominica. Taking a break and we're coming back with the farmers of Dominica. For Caribbean Cup football action, Dominica versus Martinique, Tuesday, March 29th, at the Windsor Park Stadium. Book that day. I'm in Dominica. Message 20 message is clear, you know. The message is crystal clear. A big man cannot see a little girl, a little child, a little baby at that age to think of molest that child. You know, this is impossible, Rasta. You know, we, I, 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 sometimes I look at it and I tell my wife, is it really true what the news said? An eight-year-old and a 40-something-year-old and the child is raped and, 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 and say, this is Dominica Bridgen. We need to solve our problems. These are problems. This is food. This is mental. This is psychological. We need to solve our problems. Because when you see our men start molesting little children, then our jail is going to get filled up. Then the government won't be able to come up with enough money to supply the prisoner with and all that stuff. 
is a psychological problem. This cannot keep on going. We need to stop it. We need to just stop it. Calling every Dominican man right now. If you have plans to molest any little child, or anybody should, I'm talking to politicians also, because you guys molesting people too. And I have to say that to the politicians who go out there and date little girls 16 and 15 are gonna stop. Stop it too. Don't come on the TV and deny it. Stop it also. They can't shoot me now, but they wouldn't die. Yeah. Say hello to Flow, a powerful network that connects you to your world like never before. Experience a world-class mobile network and the fastest internet speeds. Express yourself, connect, say hello to your world. This is how we bond. Come in, call, or visit us online at discoverflow.co. Sports Wrap, your dynamic, riveting weekly sports show on Q95. The entire Caribbean is listening to Sports Wrap on the big station every Thursday from 6 to 8 p.m. with renowned veteran sports commentator and retired magistrate Ozzy Lewis, famous cricketer and sports analyst Lockhart Sebo Sebastian, and national athletic coach Emmanuel Loblack. Sports Wrap, your one-stop shop for unique, inclusive, in-depth analysis of local, regional, and international sports. Bringing you the best in sports debate and up-to-the-minute information and statistics. Sports Wrap, every Thursday, 6 to 8 p.m. Two exciting hours of pure, exciting sports talk. The experts are in the house. Sports Wrap, every Thursday evening, only on the big station, only on Q95. Lock it in www.q95da.com It's our brand new dynamic Q family website. Log in, interact, have fun on the pages of your favorite shows. Rise and Shine, The Hot Seat, Easy Rock 951, Nature Isle Cruise, Youth on Q, Knockout 95, Politics, Weekly Headlines, Island Rhythms, Soul to Soul Gospel, Creole Asser Q, The Big Link Up, Q Exposure, Power Drive 951, Q Classic Gold Flashbacks, Sports Wrap, The Quiet Side of Q, Interact Live with your show hosts and Q family listeners worldwide in real time. Make your comments. Give your feedback. Tell the world what's on your mind in the comments box at the bottom of the pages at q95da.com. You interact and connect instantly with friends and Q family members on the hottest social networks. Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, LinkedIn, Messenger, Gmail, Google+. Make your comments in the box at the bottom of each news story on the news page by clicking on the headline of the news story. Log in to q95da.com. You'll just love to serve every unique page on our brand new dynamic interactive Q family website. Browse through our interesting pages in your Q family photo gallery. Listen to live audio. Watch intriguing videos on QTV on our homepage and in our video gallery. Q95 has long gone global. Place your web banners and video ads where the world is watching and listening on the big station. Q95DA.com Streaming crystal clear audio and video in total liquid stereo. Don't miss out. Check Q95DA.com today and every day. Check it right now. Immerse yourself in what's hot and happening at www.q95da.com. Lock it in. Right on Q, the big station. Want, Want internet, internet service, service that, that works? works? Get it from Flow. Want, Want internet, internet service, service that's, that's reliable and dependable? Get it from Flow. Sign up now and pay nothing for installation and get a free 4-port wireless modem plus 50% off the first two months of service. Reliable. Dependable. Internet service on the most secure network that you can trust to get internet service that works. Sign up now at the Flow flagship store or at any of our partner locations. Cabrits Agencies in Portsmouth, Deepex in Roseau, Club DVD in Marigot or from our field sales agents. You can also call 1-800-804-2994 and someone will visit you to facilitate sign up. Free installation, free modem, and 50% off the first two months of service for the most reliable internet service in Dominica. Get internet that works from Flow, Dominica's most advanced telecommunications provider. This is how we flow. 
Are you on the go in the USA and need to listen to your favorite radio station in Dominica? You can simply call 1-605-562-5302 in the USA free of charge if you have unlimited minutes. No data, no internet, no app needed. You heard right. Freely dial 1-605-562-5302 in the USA with unlimited minutes and tune in to Q95 FM radio all the way in Dominica. You can listen to their 24-hour program Programming in the USA on your phone by dialing 1-605-562-5302. Have 1-605-562-5302 on your speed dial today. Call 1-605-562-5302 in the USA to listen now and at any time with unlimited minutes. 1-605-562-5302. Want to feel more connected? Join Flow now and we'll give you free data with your first top-up. And Flow customers get free data at the start of every month with a top-up of $20 or more. So wherever you go, bring all the connections you want with you. WhatsApp, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Browse, search, and keep your finger on the pulse from anywhere and everywhere. That's life with more connection. That's life with more bite. Find out more at any Flow store or at discoverflow.co. Conditions apply. You just got into... Listen to Q95 everywhere in Dominica on these frequencies. 95.1 FM, Brozo and Southwest. 95.7 FM, Castle Bruce and the East. 95.7 FM, Grand Bay and the South. 97.5 FM, Maragot and the Northeast. 105.7 FM, Portsmouth and the North. 105.7 FM, Lapline and the East. We are also on Digicel Play Channel 110 and the Channel 904. And Marpin 2K4 Channel 97. Our global website link is www.q95da.com. Link up our YSQFM live audio stream online via TuneIn Radio. Like our exciting program pages on Facebook.com forward slash Q95FM Radio. Follow us on Twitter.com forward slash Q95FM Radio. Check Q95FM Radio videos and photos on Instagram. Listen to our podcasts at Q95FMRadio.podbean.com and link us on YouTube at YouTube.com forward slash user forward slash Q95FM Radio. Keep it locked to Q95, the big station. Say hello. hello to Flow, a powerful network that connects you to your world like never before. Experience a world-class mobile network and the fastest internet speeds. Express yourself, connect, say hello to your world. This is how we bond. Come in, call, or visit us online at discoverflow.co. Dominica, get ready for Caribbean Cup football action. Dominica versus Martinique, Tuesday, March 29th at the Windsor Park Stadium. Book that date. I'm in Dominica. You just got into a car accident. Now you have to fix it and you don't have a cent. Don't worry. Don't worry. Be happy. Your home got flooded out and you've lost it all. And chances to recover start to look very small. Don't worry. Don't worry. Be happy. Want to live the worry free life today? Call us at Beacon or log on to beacon.co.tt. Beacon Insurance. Switched on. Get the fastest home internet on island from Digital Play. With speeds three times faster than the competitor, plus over 60% savings. Pay only $89 monthly for 8 megabytes internet with Digital Play. Sign up with a sales representative in your community or call 616-1600 or 616-1700. Experience the fastest home internet with Digital Play. Digital terms and conditions. My sister, the message is clear, you know. The message is crystal clear. A big man cannot see a little girl, a little child, a little baby at that age to think of molest that child. You know, this is impossible, Rasta. You know, we, I, 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 sometimes I look at it and I tell my wife, is it really true what the news said? Eight year old and 
a 40 something year old and the child is raped and, 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 and say, this is Dominica Bridgen. We need to solve our problems. These are problems, this is food, this is mental, this is psychological. We need to solve our problems. Because when you see our men start molesting little children, then our jail is going to get filled up. Then the government won't be able to come up with enough money to supply the prison with and all that stuff. It's a psychological problem. This cannot keep on going. We need to stop it. We need to just stop it. Calling on every Dominican man right now. If you have plans to molest any little child, or anybody should, I'm talking to politicians also, because you guys molesting people too. And I have to say that to the politicians who go out there and date little girls 16 and 15 are gonna stop. Stop it too. Don't come on the TV and deny it. Stop it also. They can't shoot me, you know, right. but they wouldn't die. Yeah. I'm going to play you two songs of Tasha before we move on to the farmers and, of course, Atheist Jardis for a few minutes. This is upsetting my very stomach here, yeah, this big story. Nowadays, I see it have a new type of rubber. Middle age, in a crisis you won't believe. A subtle style, I see in this type of rubber. A harmless face, but with theft right up his sleeve. In the day, they pace and look for their target. If you look close, you will see the wandering eyes. In the night, it's when they set up to rub it With a shaven face, cap and trendy clothes for disguise These men have jobs, a loving wife and a family They have it all, you wouldn't think they'd want more But they have to prove, they still have it going at 15 So they prey on the young and insecure That's what is going on in Dominica as we speak. Big men taking advantage of children. Let the children be children. For the children of Dominica. Children are all grown up way before their time. Society doesn't draw a clear distinction. 
children be children somebody's asking uh, the question here Matt when will this stop in Dominica when when will this stop Athi Martins join us for a few minutes here Athi you seem very concerned well Matt this is an issue that you and I have had a, a chance to talk about for for years we saw it coming there were so many questions raised about people in public office. Even if you go <coughs> way back when, you remember the slaughterhouse issue that was raised, um, where young women were, were used by adult men uh, as part of their weekend entertainment. And that, that, that morphed <laughs> into just a behavior pattern that the rest of the society seem to be turning a blind eye to. Whether it be women, as women turning a blind eye to the fact that their children were being actually abused. In 2009 and 10, there was a country poverty assessment report that identified that there is an underground economy mm -hmm. in Dominica. In other words, people had gotten so frustrated about not being able to find work in the country that they had abandoned the legal economy and had agreed that they were going to earn their living by participating in an underground economy, mm. which included transactional sex. Mm. Mm. This report is an official government report that identified that as a problem and sounded a warning and identified the fact that women were, were admitting to the interviewers of that report that they, they had converted a room in their house for something called transactional sex. Mm. What is that? Transactional sex is where you let it be known that you have a daughter that is available and it is going to cost you so much if you want to spend time with my daughter. Or you yourself as a mother became a And women openly admitted to that. There's an account of a verbatim mm. account of the interviews that were, that were given to the presenters of the preparers of that report and it made it quite clear that children in Dominica had become just another product another commodity <laughs> to be sold on the open market and so the children quickly got the idea they quickly got it clear that okay if this is how my mommy or my auntie or my nenen wants me to make money when I'm not going to make money just for them. I'm going to make money for myself too. So they started the transactional sex business on their own, as their own business. The internet brought in, the, the, I mean, we had reports way back when, even before 2009, of, of, of um, online sex clubs in primary schools. <laughs> in primary schools where people actually were showing videos of themselves or of other people engaging in sexual acts. The teachers knew about it. The principals of those schools knew about it. The parents knew about it. It never stopped. And today, you have smartphones. And guess what? They can not only show each other what they're doing, but they can sell it. Hmm. They can sell pictures of themselves online which is what some of them are doing, Matt. This is what is happening in Dominica. And so when we hear of this latest matter and the fact that it appears that there may be the involvement of prominent people 
in the society, whether they be in the business community or in the political community, they are prominent people. And that makes it, you know, a quadruple crime. <laughs> quadruple. Because when, when you as a person agree to accept public office and to serve the public in a way, it means that everything you do is no longer private. Everything is public. And so it's clear that if you cannot manage yourself, and as Tasha is saying in her song, you can keep your business in your pants. Mm -hmm. Get out of the office. Mm -hmm. There are so many questions, so many reports of people in public office being engaged with young girls. There's so many reports of people paying off families to drop the case. <laughs> and the police know about that because the police on, on occasion, to their credit, have pursued the matter to the point where they were ready to go to court and then money talks and nobody walks. And so, I mean, the, the important thing is if something like this if the violation of the children of our society doesn't get the society angry and upset, then we have ceased to be human. Mm -hmm. We don't deserve to be called human beings. And, and, and right now, I mean, I, as I'm walking the streets of Roseau this morning, you know, on my way, you know, through this, through this I'm, I'm seeing women, I'm say, saying to myself, do you have a child that's involved that you're not speaking about? I'm just asking myself that quiet question. And I know a lot of us know. So what are we prepared to do about it? I, in my own view, we should set a date, set a time, set a place, and invite all those who have children, or who know children, or who care for children, to present themselves and stand up for the children. I can tell you, if we stand up for the children now, we give them hope. We give them a chance because then they will see the adults of the society are not just a bunch of greedy, unscrupulous, criminal people, but they are caring people. There are still some caring people in Dominica. Those of you listening to Matt's program this morning, are you prepared to do that? Are you prepared to come and join in a, maybe a vigil, singing the right kind of songs, reading the right kind of scriptures, saying the right kind of things so that you can start setting a good example to the children of Dominica. And so we, as we grow older, we will be assured that there will be mature, responsible young adults to look after Dominica. Or are we prepared to just turn our backs away again and again mm. and let the society continue to rot? You know, Matt, Trees do not grow from the top down. If you want to plant a tree, Mr. Louis is here, Mr. Delon is here. This is a farmer's program coming up. You don't plant the top of a tree. You plant a tree down. You, you get the roots. I, I watched Mr. Louis plant trees for me, which are bearing today. The coffee trees are bearing. We are harvesting coffee, Mr. Wow. Louis. You know from the trees that we, you planted. We harvest in citrus from the trees that you planted on our place. And I know, I mean, you see, he takes the care to make sure that the roots are properly positioned and properly cared for and, and so forth because it grows from the bottom up. Mm -hmm. But guess what, Matt? A tree can rot from the top down. Mm -hmm. If you make our society that tree, that tree of life, which is supposed to be growing from the bottom up, the foundations, the roots, healthy, good drainage, good nu nutrients, and so on. And if the society is rotting, and that society is the tree of life for Dominica, it is rotting from the top, Matt. Black cigar doesn't affect the roots at first. No. It manifests itself in the vegetative part of the plant. Mm -hmm as do most diseases, except, of course, you have borers and nematodes and so forth that are pests that infect the root systems and so forth. But by and large, look at lethal yellowing in, in, in our coconuts. Mm -hmm. It's killing off our coconut. Mm -hmm. It's a virus that, in, that first in, in, in manifests itself by yellowing the coconut leaves. Eventually, the tree dies. 
That's what's happening symbolically. That is what's happening in Dominica. We have a disease at the top in our society. And it's not just the politicians. <laughs> I say top, there are senior people in administrative positions in the society who could have helped prevent the rot from the top. But they went along with the program for what they could get. Some got ambassadorial appointments, some got their children's education taken care of, some got promotions, some get travel and so forth. We all know that. There are members of the very business community who have sold off and burnt their principles and values that they, they were grown up with as children in order to benefit materially. They have given up on anything remotely resembling the spiritual side of, the, of themselves. And so the society like that tree, the proverbial tree, is rotting right. from the top. The pastors and priests and bishops of our society, the nuns, the religious, the people, the, the, the lay preachers. What are you doing? Are you part of the rot? Are you seeing the rot happen and you're not saying and doing anything about it? Okay. Or are you alerting us? Where are you today when that, 80, that 14 or 15 year old child most needs the succor and the, and the help and the prayers and the compassion of a society. It's Where are him. you? Are you busy still trying to make your money, sell your passports or do your deals or whatever? You the bank managers of the country. Where are you today? Are you talking with your staff? You have staff who are mothers. You have staff who are grandmothers. You, Mr. Manager, have you convened a special emergency meeting of your staff, of your, of your female staff, to ensure that the stress that every woman is going through now when they listen to this, 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 this frightfully, um, you know, disgusting development in Dominica, the stress that that is causing women. You, Mr. Manager, are you, are you bringing them together? You, Mr. Permanent Secretary, or Madam Permanent Secretary, are you taking a break, a half hour break from your workday activities to say, okay, this is horrible. We as women, we as people in the society have to do something about it. Yeah. Or are you simply going through your normal day as if it's normal? There is no normal. There is no normal when these kinds of dastardly, you know, you know, inoculations of evil can take hold in our society. There is no normal. So you cannot be today going around your, about your business as if nothing happened. Some of you have just had children. Maybe your child is a month old, seven months old, a few weeks old. Is this what you want for your daughter? Is this, is, is, if it was your daughter, if it was your daughter that had been violated by these adult men, would you be calm? Would you be cool? Would you be worrying about what you're going to get? Or would you be worried about protecting the children of the society by what you're going to say and what you're going to do? Are you still afraid to speak publicly? And by your silence condemn the children of Dominica to this ignominy? Are you still afraid to speak publicly and by your silence allow the society to rot, to decay, and to collapse into nothing? And then who will, what will you do? You'll turn around. Who will you blame? Will you blame Matt? Will you blame Angelo? Will you blame Q95? Who will you blame when the children get consumed like, like so much, you know, snack foods? So... Matt, this is not something that we can play with. This is not something we can try not to be passionate about. This is not something we can remain in silence about. And certainly this is something we must do something about. I would propose, and then maybe Q, you know, we'll have to talk to Mr. G. We should mobilize the country. To attend an event which we can decide what that event is on a day at a location that will say to the children of Dominica, we are not going to acquiesce.
to your being consumed by the, these evil people in our society that we stand with you my children that you are our children that every child in dominica is the child of every adult in dominica and we will not let that go by are you prepared people if we said we want to see you on friday evening for example and we wanted to see you assembled around let's say the new tongue savannah come with a candle come with something come with something that signifies you know as 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 uh, breaks would have sung in his song years ago who's now a, a catholic priest and we would ask him to come and speak and sing the song you know keep the candles burning for our children would you come so matt they, there is nothing more important to move a nation forward than looking after its elderly and its children our children are what is on what is before us today as being in danger let us rise let us rise and protect our children and we should in fact pick a date pick a location pick a time and invite the country the whole country you go to to rallies you go to fets you go to thing would you come to an assembly to protect your own children Think about it. The victims meek and small. Red robbery. The robbers bold and bald. Red robbery. Gross impropriety. Red robbery. Hungry men in society. With a new face, they disguise the act secure their gun in their pants and they on the attack. What a passionate plea there from Matthew Martin. For the children of Dominique. Of course, to join us live streaming, go to our website www.q95da.com and click on the YouTube video stream TV icon. You can also scroll lower down and view it on the site itself with the YouTube player. Let's take a few phone calls. We'll come back to Mr. Patrick Delana Deloney and, of course, Mr. Louis there. Hello. Hello, Matt. Yes. Hello to um, Afi still there? Yes. I'm um, big up Afi and, and Patrick and Mr. Louis. Yeah. Well, I heard Afi said something about trees. You remember I sang a song for Mr. Louis concerning planting trees and saying, anyway, my reason for calling, I go in go as, as we need a department of, of philosophy on Q. So I'm going to start as, as the philosopher, right? Now, in, 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 everything goes on perception and emotion. So certain things happen. Somebody had an idea and they did something to the kid, right? But there's an emotional scar. This is the things that people don't discuss this kind of thing. What I see in Dominica is, even like the Brian thing, when you stand up and you get angry, the thing that caused you to get angry is even worse than your reaction. This is, this is why people have to start to understand, understand what is going down. The thing is, everyone, if, if some few people are important, what we have to do is make everyone important. Because if some few is so important, we get a lot of problems, my brother. And if everybody wants to feel important, we don't have no, no services, we don't have no servants, we don't have no slaves, my brother. So the thing is, the amount of education that is registered in our mind and our surroundings and our atmosphere right now, the amount of things that, that, that make, could make here a better place. Now, we have to make a survey also on how many people, young people live in the country. We don't make no service concerning that. No, concerning if I have a kid and the kid is brutalized like that, no, I, I have to go with my emotion and sort of I cannot control that emotion. I might want to take out that person because it, it makes, it put people in the category of, of defeat or oh, Congress. Check it. Check it. All right. Thank you very much. Hello. Matt, you there with me? Yes, sir. Let me just shout out RC and Mr. Lee, Delaney, and everybody else who is in there. Matt, I would like to call on the bishop and Roosevelt Skerritt to call for a day. I see you know how everything is so contaminated with politics. If I see, call it blessings of Q95, you know. I mean, everybody trying to protect the daily bread, whether it's crumbs. Nobody's got going to follow. But just like the mosquito, the one mosquitoes, I would like Skerritt to call, he and the bishop, collaborate and come together and call for that location, I see, and call for that time. And even if, no matter how hypocritical and pretentious, 
But let us bring Dominicans together and really drum up support where our young people are being abused and we need that to stop or to be curtailed to a very large extent because it is frightening. I know a lot of things, Matt. I'm on the ground. I know a lot of school children that go to school with their uniform, with their, their sexy clothes in their bags and after school they dress up sexy and they know where they're going after. We know and I know who picking them up. A lot of us know who picking them up. We know the abuse. But everybody's turning a blind eye, as Afi said. Even parents are sacrificing their own children. So really and truly, I would like to call, and I'm going to continue to repeat that, Matt. The bishop and scary. I'm not going to call on welfare. Who is welfare? Who is them social services? They're incompetent. They're understaffed, underfunded. They have not the courage to go to those who are responsible to fund them. Matt, and guess what? So I'm calling on the politicians and the religion is the most influential um, organizations in Dominica to drum up the support for us to protect our children. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Hello? Yes, morning, Mr. Mack, once more again. Mr. Yeah, you're Mark, back. What welfare they have been doing? That is a great impact for welfare to, welfare to act now. Because I'm telling you, Mac. I have my last son have a little daughter and my grandchild and when I looking at that child, little girl especially, when she going to school she makes sure she pass there. When she come out from school she pass. When she going back she pass. When she come out from school, she pass. That's four times for the day. I'm looking at her just like me because I make sure that is my root, that is my plant and how great that is for me to pass and tell me good morning, Grandpa, and hug me and kiss me, and she going to school. I mean, how we looking at our children, especially both boys and girls, but more girls, to look at them and to keep them to that standard, pray to the Almighty God, to each and every one, to bring them to that stage, because it's day. As time go by, we never know what that can come on our way, and they there to assist us. But I'm calling on welfare. Now they have to work hand in hand and they make sure they always have that one in their program. What's up? One crime is too much. So when you look at that very important aspect that come in that island now and to hear that that is a big, big, big shame on us and especially parents, mothers that have little girls and to looking at your little girls and see a person, a big man going to affect, and especially according to the statement and the high rank, uh, what a shame, what a disgrace. We, as human beings, we have to stand up with courtesy, with love, and try to protect each and everyone, and especially our little girls when we look at them. They are their future. They are going to clean us. They are going to powder us, make us feel happy. I calling again on welfare, work hand in hand with the police and to see that come to conclusion and the person that do that act to make sure you pay for the act you do because you know really that was not a good presentation. You should coach that child, bring that child, talk to that child, not go and discipline that child and to come up with that things that are disturbing, not Dominic Allen. When we list outside the world, listen to us. How they looking at us? We supposed to bring us one another, bring the best ability to serve and to make sure to conduct and to have that great impact, love for one another. Thank you very much. Mr. Louis, I haven't heard you this morning. Of course, Mr. Athimate has been making a very important input there this morning. <coughs> Not I even want to cry. Yes. You feel ashamed. Yeah. I have 17 granddaughter, 17, and knowing that I would be a violent man if, we, if, 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 it was, if it was not the grace of God, because I will not allow the law to override me or to overtake me, and I don't want, I say in it, but with caution, don't use what I'm saying there, don't use it. I just tell it my feeling to have a child, a scholarship child going to convent, 
He can be the a professor of any field, a doctor of any field, an engineer, whatever. And for that to be molested in that fashion, Matt, I cannot stick it. I'll talk again. Thank you. Patrick? Matt, thank you. Basically, Matt, we have rejected the gospel of Christ. Basically, this is, this is basic to everything that is happening to us here and now. Now, we have called we have called these people to respect and preach that gospel. And believe you me, me, Matt, they have gone so far from that gospel that they don't know what it is. They don't know what the gospel is. Christ came in to the earth. He is the only son of God that came down saying, I know the father and the father knows me. There's nobody else. Nope. You must come to, to God through me. Nobody else. And I'm going to sacrifice my blood and to liberate you. Give you the gospel of salvation. Now, in that gospel of salvation, there is the, the most two important things Christ gave people was this. Have faith in God, believe in God, and have love for one another. I am not going back to these churches that, are, that cannot preach that. <laughs> if you go back to the bishop or the priest or the pastor, he doesn't preach that. He doesn't know it. He cannot help you. Matt, he cannot help you. It's the only the gospel that can help you. Christ, Christ said it so clearly. He says, listen, you call me Lord, Lord, and don't do the things that I say to do. You see it? There, there lies the whole problem, you know. There lies the whole problem of societies everywhere. You rip to the flesh, you will rip, you, you will sow. sow. sow you sow. sow to the flesh, you will rip corruption. You sow to the spirit, which are the words that God gave you, that you should be repeating every day, and you should live by every day, and you will rip life, life and peace. This is this is the thing that He has given you. So what I what I think Dominica should do, Matt, mm -hmm. is to find a few people maybe five maybe six who know that gospel <clears throat> and explain that gospel to the nation and let these people lead the nation in prayer because he said if if those that are called by my name humble themselves and come to me and pray i will listen and forgive them from heaven and heal their land <laughs> you do not heal your land any other way by chemicals you do that we use in agriculture if you notice we and i don't talk about chemicals <laughs> we always talk about the word of god the word of god takes supremacy and if you cannot abide by the word well you, as far as the scripture is concerned as far as the son of god is concerned the man who came from heaven you know that's the only man who knows the father you know up to now nobody has seen that father you know and he came and declared the father to us okay. and we still have all kind of doctrines and religion saying what that um who that um son of god is and you you see in that they, they they go contrary to what the bible is saying they do not know the son of god they do not know what powers we have. He said, look, I give you a spirit. The spirit I give you is not a spirit of fear, but one of power and love and a song mind. That is where you Amen. find those things. Amen. That is where you find Amen. those things. Amen. You cannot get that any other place. And that is in the gospel. It's the gospel that's given to you, the gospel of salvation. And salvation is everything. Not salvation just for your sins, for your sickness and disease for your provision for everything that is what salvation means the word salvation was translated from a greek word called sozo mm. sozo means everything nothing left behind complete we don't even know what salvation is i'm telling you you know Avi, we do not follow we do not put the gospel of christ as the number one thing in our lives that that is where we are filled we have turned our backs on god and he is just laughing at you He's just laughing at you. He said, you think you're smarter than me? Well, go ahead now. Let me see where we'll get. Everything leads to corruption this uh, days. Every single thing. You said something about the son and the father. It is important to repeat. Yes. Yes. It is important to repeat. I'll repeat it. Jesus himself that came from heaven says, no man knoweth the father. Right. But the son. But the son. And to whom 
the son will reveal him to. Nobody else can do that for you. No pope, no bishop, no nobody else. And then Jesus told his disciples, who do men say that I, I am? You see the great word, I am? Yes. Be careful of that word. Eh? Right. <laughs> and then they could not answer. But Peter stood up and says, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. Mm -hmm. And Jesus says to Peter, Peter, flesh and blood has not, has revealed, not revealed it to you. But my spirit. Father, yeah. which is, you see the oneness of the Godhead? Mm -hmm. That is important. People need to know that what you want. We are all kinds of religious, partition the body of Christ, and we put us into a mess. In Colbus, we may have four groups of believers. From the from the from the Pottersville there to the hospital, you have eleven groups of different religion. What that calls? What that tells you? Established what that tells you? We have to understand basically Jesus Christ do not have two churches. This is Babylon. <laughs> he do not have two churches. It is not in plural at all. It is singular. Yeah. I will build my church. Yeah. And the gate of hell shall not prevail. And the church he built is where two or three are gathered together in my name. It's not the thousand and million all you boast of Afi. Is the twos and the threes. Yeah. Yeah. Because he's divine, he know he his for knowledge is superior than anybody else to make prediction and says we are two of you gather together in my name. There I am in the midst. Listen, listen to it. Thank you for that. Uh, but, but, let, let me just take a break. We'll yeah. come back to you guys. There are mm. telephone calls. Just so give me a second there. Mm -hmm. I think we'll of course uh, allow you your final words That's before we true. go. We're gonna come back after this. Vision presents the 2016 Secondary Schools Track and Field Meet. It's a two-day affair which showcases the best track and field athletes at all secondary schools. The action starts on day one, Wednesday, March 2nd from 9.30 a.m. with an opening ceremony followed by track and field action. Day two, Thursday, March 3rd, the action starts at 12 noon and goes into the evening under the lights. Come see the best Dominican athletic talents from all secondary schools as they compete for athletic supremacy and vie for qualification to Dominican. Dominica's team for the 2016 Carifta Games. Events include 100 and 800 meter high jump, shot put, and the ever exciting 4x1 and 4x4 races. Track and field action at the Windsor Park Stadium on Wednesday 2nd and Thursday 3rd March. Be there. Want to feel more connected? Join Flow now and we'll give you free data with your first top up. And Flow customers get free data at the start of every month with a top up of $20 or more. So wherever you go, bring all the connections you want with you WhatsApp, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Browse, search, and keep your finger on the pulse from anywhere and everywhere. That's life with more connection. That's life with more bite. Find out more at any Flow store or at discoverflow.co. Conditions apply. 767 Dominica get ready for Caribbean Cup football action. Dominica versus Martinique. Tuesday, March 29th at the Windsor Park Stadium. Book that day. I'm in Dominica. Division presents the 2016 Secondary Schools Track and Field Meet. It's a two-day affair which showcases the best track and field athletes at all secondary schools. The action starts on day one, Wednesday, March 2nd from 9.30 a.m. with an opening ceremony followed by track and field action. Day two, Thursday, March 3rd, the action starts at 12 noon and goes into the evening under the lights. Come see the best Dominican athletic talents from all secondary schools as they compete for athletic supremacy and vie for qualification to Dominica's team for the 2016 Carifta Games. Events include 100 and 800 meter high jump, shot put and the ever exciting 4x1 and 4x4 races. Track and field action at the Windsor Park Stadium on Wednesday 2nd and Thursday 3rd March. Be there. Want internet service that works? Get it from Flo. Want internet service that's reliable and dependable? Get it from Flo. 
sign up now and pay nothing for installation and get a free 4-port wireless modem plus 50% off the first two months of service. Reliable, dependable, internet service on the most secure network that you can trust to get internet service that works. Sign up now at the Flow Flagship Store or at any of our partner locations. Cabrit Agencies in Portsmouth, Deepex in Roseau, Club DVD in Marigot, or from our field sales agents. You can also call 1-800-804-2994 and someone will visit you to facilitate sign-up. Free installation, free modem, and 50% off the first two months of service for the most reliable internet service in Dominica. Get internet that works from Flow, Dominica's most advanced telecommunications provider. This is how we flow. Okay, let's just take a phone call there. Our time is very limited. Hello. The first person, good morning to you, sir. Your listeners here worldwide, your farmers and Asi Martin, good morning to everybody. Yes. Matt, with reference to the sexual uh, brutalization of this young child. Yes, scandal. Um, Yes, my first spell say on a regular basis, I sit in my vehicle reading either a newspaper or a book, and I see drivers going right through a no entry sign on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. Okay? My first spell say, do you know why they do it? Do you know? Why they go through breaking the law? Why they go through a no entry sign on a regular basis? Do you know why they do it? I don't know, maybe you do. Well, they do it because they get away with it, Matt. They know they will get away with it, so they do it. Now, we've been talking about this sexual thing now for years. Matt, we talk, we talk, we talk, nothing happens. But Matt, logic tells us, you know, that a correct conclusion can only be deduced from a correct premise. And that if your premise is wrong, your conclusion, my dear boy, will invariably be wrong. The premise is that, Matt Pelty, that if you involve the police in that sort of investigation, the case will be resolved because you're the law. That premise is flawed, Matt, because we have in the past couple of years or longer similar cases involving child molestation and sexual abuse which have gone down the drain for a multiplicity of reasons. Either it's tech they find a technical fault, the victim has been paid off or withdrawn the complaint, and the police have failed to, to ca carry it out. You know? And unless we put, Matt, the necessary measures in place will continue. Now, Matt, I have called in the past for Mr. Scarry to go in the parliament and pass draconian legislation, Matt. Mr. Scarry goes all around the world gallivanting. When last was in parliament to address that issue? Because that issue has been on the, on the books for, a lo for five or six years. What has he done? Matt, draconian legislation would involve you pass legislation to ensure that any underage child in Dominica, Matt, in this country, abused by an older man or anybody else, that guy will go to prison for at least 20 years. When the guys know that is what they're going to get, Matt, I can bet you they will not be even looking at these kids. So unless we have those sort of legislation in place, Matt, that will continue to happen. And those groups you mentioned about the Women's Bureau, all those people are in the pockets of the, of the, of the Liberal Party government. Matt. The, the pastors, the priests, forget about those people. You go in the parliament and enact that legislation, Matt and make, make it known that anybody who act, uh, sexually abuse our kids, they spend 20 years in, in, in the jail, Matt. There is no other reason. And I tell you, Matt, that is like a cancer, you know. I mean, this government itself is like a cancer eating at our bones, you know, Matt. And unless we remove them, and we must be prepared to die in the street to remove them, you know, unless we remove them, all those atrocities taking place in that country will continue, Matt, you know. But as I said, the bottom line is they have to go in the parliament and the legislation must be draconian, Matt. There's no other way. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Gentlemen, we have a few more minutes. Athi, let me give you two in the law of the gentleman uh, the remaining time. Athi? Yeah, um, <coughs> Matt, I, I, let, me, let me agree with the, the call that blessings put to us that it is probably just right that we ask the leadership of the Catholic uh, Church Catholic Church and the leadership of the country to convene this event and to do it this week um, because with every passing day that we fail to respond and fail to act 
I'm sure there's going to be more violations and destructions of our children. So yes, I agree that we should call upon the bishop of the Roman Catholic Church and call upon the, the, the head of government uh, to, to actually convene this national coming together event. If we cannot come together around our children, then we are really on our way to hell. And there was somebody who, who said, go to hell, go to hell, go to hell. This is a time, this is an opportunity for redemption. And um, let's not miss it. Because like Patrick, I have seen, I have seen the impending destruction of our society. I've seen it unfold. I've seen the economy unravel. I've seen order un, uh, unravel. I have friends who visit and they tell me, Athi, where are the smiles that Dominica used to be known for? Have you ever noticed? There are not too many smiles on the streets of Roseau or anywhere anymore. There's nothing to smile about these days, app apparently. And so, um, this, this, this unraveling and destroying and destruction and rottening of our, of our society is what we have to stop. And whatever is causing the rot will have to be gotten rid of. If I am causing the rot, get rid of me. Because I am not greater than the society. And no one is. And so I think we just have to come clean, come straight. And realize that this tribalism that we call politics, that we've been engaged in, particularly in a virulent way over the last 10, 12 years or so, has, has, has got us to a very bad place, a very sad place. And, um, and so I'm calling upon, I'm joining in Blessings Call, calling upon the leaders to do that. And I'm calling upon particularly all mothers and fathers and that leaves out nobody. Because we are all either mothers or fathers, either biologically or otherwise. And so I'm calling on all of us to stand ready to stand up for the children of Dominica. Not just at this event that we are seeking to do as a symbolic gesture to, to give the children a sense of hope, but we have to do so every day. We have to show respect to our children. Even if they are being disrespectful, let us show them that we are not going to go there. That we can be respectful. We know how to be respectful of them because they are our future. And I just urge, urge us not to, not to miss this opportunity. Remember, what's the date today, Matt? The first, the, first. the first of March 2016. That was the day when with Mr. Louis, Mr. Deloney, Mr. Marte, on Matt's program on Q95 Radio in the Commonwealth of Dominica, we warned you that this is the day that we must turn. This is the day that we must announce to the world, okay, hands up, we see what's going on, we are going, to put it in Patrick's word, to finally listen to the word. Uh, uh, Patrick, you have just about 30 seconds. Well, Matt, I will be um, at the risk of repeating myself, but I will repeat that because this is the foundation we're supposed to stand on. The gospel that Christ brought to us. This is why he came, Matt. This is why he came to bring us that gospel of salvation. Saving yourself, saving your country. This is all I have to tell the people. Mr. Lee, another 30 seconds. The first completion Jesus gave in Mark chapter 1 verse 15 is that the time is at hand. The time is fulfilling. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe the gospel. And Paul strengthened it by telling us that I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. The gospel of who? The gospel of Christ. 
the power unto salvation. Because the, because it's the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believes. That's what men fail to do. And then Paul says, if any man, that is in Galatians chapter 1, if any man bring another gospel, let him be a curse. A curse. <laughs> and he double it. Let him be a curse. The gospel is Jesus Christ and none other. God bless you. Give him a key to come and go as he pleases.